So the way you stay on track is you take and everybody on your team has a copy of the action steps. And then what you're going to do is each week, break it down into how much of this are we going to accomplish by the end of Friday? Because the shorter the time frame, usually the more you can stay on track and then notice on a daily basis. And so that's where you come into blocking your days so that you have time every day to work on this project, you know, because otherwise it's not going to happen. You may need that everybody has three hours a day to work on this project because it's so important. And it's like, what do they need to be doing that's on the action list? And then ask yourself, each of you, everybody that's on your team, ask yourself every day, Am I doing a bunch of things that are actually not productive to getting to this outcome? Because that's where the pledge, the commitment that you've made up front, where you've said, this is the number one priority, and that's the what, why. What do I want, and why is it really the number one priority? Why am I choosing it over everything else? So if you're going to have your behavior match your commitment, then you're going to be learn, and it's a learning, it's a learning experience, to stop doing all this stuff that actually has nothing to do with putting $10,000 in the bank. You know what? The world will not end if you don't answer your emails but three times a week. You don't have to tell people because that's annoying. I, I don't like those kinds of you know, responses. Like, I'll be looking at my emails again on Wednesday. It's like, well, actually, that makes it sound like I'm not very important to you. While I know personally that it's because they want to be productive. But come, come up, you're going to have to start looking at, do I look like what I'm doing now is I have the last hour of my day in my schedule for emails and projects that come up during the day? Because we all know stuff comes up during the day. So I've just scheduled five hours a week, the last, the end of the day. And if people don't hear back from me before then, then I don't have to be bothered unless there's a team member that I'm just scanning to go, is there a team member that I needed to get something to? But I'm not even going to open the emails. I'm going to leave them to that four o'clock time period. And I'll go, okay, I'm going to deal with them then so they don't distract me and get me off target. And so you'll actually become far more disciplined as an entrepreneur by having this laser focus on this one outcome. And then how do you know it's working? Well, first, did you get there? And then you go through the learning curve at the, the learning section, the top of it. And the way I have this in my book is it's a pyramid. So it's always going up to this point.